Wine sat at her desk, her sharp eyes scanning the ripples laid out right in front of her. Her office was a picture of efficiency, just like her. She ran a huge business empire, and her reputation for being strict was well known. Her team was high on alert, ensuring everything was perfect before presenting anything to her. Manager, Miss Wine, the projections are ready. When looked up, her gaze piercing. Wine, good, let's see them. As the manager explained the numbers, Wine's mind worked quickly, analyzing every detail. She had a sharp brain and she was really strict about perfection, during presentation especially. Even if the employees stuttered, they would go through a huge problem. Halfway through the meeting, her phone buzzed with a message. She glanced at it briefly. Her expression softening for a split second before she returned her focus to the presentation. Once the meeting concluded, Wine stood, smoothing down her dress as graceful as she's always been. Wine, I expect the revised report by the end of the day. No mistakes. Manager, yes, Miss Wine. He left and so she did as well, gathered her bag and her coat. As she walked out of her office, she saw Jungkook cleaning against his sleek black car, holding a bucket of her favorite flowers. His dark and commanding presence contrasted with the gentleness in his eyes when he saw her, Jungkook. Hi, beautiful. Mine strict demeanor mental instantly. She walked up to him, almost ran like those little hopes, seeing him after a long tiring day, a warm smile spreading across her face. Jungkook handed her the flowers, a mischievous smile playing on his lips. Jungkook, I want you to see my wife. Is that a crime? Wine laughed, accepting the flowers. She stood on her tiptoes and kissed him, her arms wrapping around his neck. Jungkook held her close, his grip firm yet tender. Jungkook, I missed you. He murmured against her lips. Wine, I missed you too. She replied, pulling back slightly to look in his eyes. Wine, how was your day? Jungkook shrugged, a smirk on his face. Jungkook, same old, but it's better now that I'm with you. Wine, come on, I'm driving today. She said, pulling away, but keeping his hand in hers. Jungkook raised an eyebrow, clearly amused. Jungkook, you must be tired. Let me do the work. Wine. Nope, I'm treating you today. Get in. Jungkook chuckled along her to take the lead. Jungkook. Alright, boss. I'm looking forward to get some great meal. Ramen sounds good.
Fine. It's still unbelievable to me how you're so hell-bent on ramen all the time. We need a proper meal. They got into the car and Vine took the meal. He sighed, almost sulking, earning a chuckle from her. She drove them to a cozy, upscale restaurant she knew Jungkook loved. As they arrived, Jungkook looked at her with admiration. Jungkook, maybe I can give up on ramen for a night. Vine laughed playfully, squeezing his hand before they got out of the car. She kept their hands intertwined as they entered the restaurant. They were seated at a private table, and the waiter brought them a special menu. Vine had prearranged everything, wanting to make the evening perfect just for Jungkook. It was a restaurant he needed to wait for months to get an appointment. Jungkook, it must be hard getting a place here. Thank you, love. But you know you do not have to work that much. Vyan, I want to make my day special with you. And you deserve a nice meal once in a while. As long as it's not ramen. He started sulking again and his shoulders slumped down. Zonku, you really hate my ramen. She shrugged and in the meantime, the meal arrived. As they enjoyed their meal, Jungkook's expression grew serious. Jungkook, I might be working late for a few coming days. This supplier who is trying to get back in their contract even manipulated it. My lawyers are working on it. Ryan, are you saying you won't be able to give me proper time? That's bad. Looks like I'll have to handle a few things. She raised a brow and there was a dark shadow surrounding her. She was surely scared when things didn't go her way. Jungkook, baby, I'll handle. Vine, let my legal team into it. Your team can let them on to the details. They'll surely solve the matter and you won't have to work extra either. He smiled and helped her peel off a parallel leaf with his chopped sticks. Jungkook, thanks love. Tell them I'll treat them a dinner once it's solved. Fine, treat me first. She opened her mouth with jealousy, written all over her face. Jungkook fed her a bite with a laugh. Sometimes it was still unreal to him how easy and happy he is in her company. Once they were done with the dinner, they left the restaurant and went for a stroll outside in their spacious, beautiful gardens. Jungkook, the place is always booked, yet there's no one around. Isn't it weird? Fine. Surely. She held his arm and leant against her head. As they walked, Wine had not only booked a meal, but the whole restaurant, which took her quite some time to work. She wanted to make it special for him, that too on a random evening, so he can have a break from his usual busy life and enjoy with her. Once they stopped in front of the fountain, he looked at her.
Jungkook. Do you think if we toss some coins, our wishes will come true? One. Maybe. Want to try? He took out his wallet, and all he had were cards and notes. Jungkook. Seems like wishes without coins will have to do for now. She chuckled. One. Come on, say them out. Maybe they'll come true. Jungkook, I wish for a child, a little round bean with beauty equals to my wife, as well as personality. Emotions filled up in her eyes as she looked up at him. She didn't know about the coins or the fountain, but she was surely going to fulfill his every wish. Brian, then we'll have a child, exactly how you want him or her to be. Wine caught on her tiptoes and kissed her. Jungkook wrapped his arm around her waist and kissed her back while the fountain danced between them. It was a kiss that they shared with their emotions for a better promising future.